particular highlights for you, Grant? I wonder, um, taking a team to a World Cup, and you know Scotland don't get to them very often. So I wonder what your particular highlights would be. Well, every day is a highlight for me. I think uh, you know it's it, it's such a such a great experience, and you know we're banking away uh, some valuable experiences for. Uh, you know, for everyone, staff included, uh, but most of all the players. And I think the highlights are yet to come. I think uh, the growth from this this experience we will see, we would expect to see, uh, you know, in, in the coming months. And you know, we've got such exciting opportunities in front of us. Um, you know, firstly, the the T20 qualifiers in our own country in June, July, and I would expect, um, you know, that from these experiences at the World Cup. Uh, good and bad, um, our, our players and staff will only grow from those. So, you know, there's been uh, there's been so many highlights, really, um, so many highlights. But I think just seeing the learning and just really seeing our, our players under pressure, well, the whole whole group really under pressure, under fatigue, and seeing the reaction uh, from from that, and by and large, that reaction has been. Uh, and the, what has uh, revealed is, is some strong characters have been revealed. And I've always said to our team, and I'm a believer that uh, character doesn't necessarily grow under, uh, un, under fatigue and pressure. It is revealed, and, uh, and, and we've been under the pump uh, you know, in every game. Uh, every, every game has been a tough uh, and a new experience for us. Uh, but the, the, the strength of character, the, the pride of playing for uh, Scotland, and the pride uh, that is building uh, to play for each other in this team is, is something that we're working hard to, uh, to galvanise and we're seeing strong signs of that coming through. Uh, we've been shown clearly where the bar is for top 10 nation cricket. We want to be there. Uh, our, our players have set their own goals in terms of that's where we want to be. We want to be amongst the top 10 in the world. Uh, so no better place to learn uh, what's required to be there than at a World Cup. So we've seen where the bar is and now we're starting to see also the, the team itself challenging each other to, to um, put, in, you know, put in daily you know, what's required to, to meet those standards. It seems to me that despite the fact there have been no wins, you see this as a success, a successful tournament for Scotland. Oh, absolutely. Um, look, we're, we're gutted we didn't get a couple of wins um, so far, um, but we're also preparing to beat Australia. Why wouldn't we? You know, we've got nothing to lose, uh, but then, uh, but to go out and put our very best performance uh, in um, in the last day of this uh, this tournament for us, and we'd love nothing more than to beat the host nation. Uh, we had uh, a couple of opportunities to bring home victory uh, clearly against uh, Afghanistan and Bangladesh. We weren't quite experienced enough or skilled enough uh, or calm under pressure uh, to bring those victories home. Uh, but this, this, the whole tournament has been a huge success, I believe, in terms of uh, the experiences that we're banking away. Um, you know, in, in reality, we've played no one that's been ranked below us. <laughs> so, you know, we weren't supposed to beat anyone. And we came very close to beating two uh, two nations at this tournament. So, you know, it's um, uh, far from doom and gloom for me. As I said, I, I think the the real benefits of this tournament are, are yet to be seen in the coming months and the way our players grow from these experiences.